hello everyone welcome to my channel electrical and computer engineering project in this channel i will make video tutorial on electrical and computer related projects and if you have not subscribed to my channel you can click on this subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you get notification every time i upload a new video and you can also visit my blog from the link above and you can follow me on twitter and you can send me message if you need anything today we will work on our form and we will write the php code for this update um, update query and for that uh, before that we will uh, create another input for our image folder or image selection for that we will write the type as file also the name will be file and we will add the class name and now if we see that there is our choose file option we can choose any file and the name will be there inside that folder which will be saved in our database now we just need to add the values in our form we will just uh, select the data from our database and then put that value inside our form so for that we can just uh, write a query first for selecting all the data then we will fetch this data and then after fetching this data we will put this data into our table form into our form okay so first the select query here we will select all the data from our admin table for all the admin ins instructions and where the username will be the session variable then after this the result variable where we will run our query if this does not run properly we can write an error message or you can just end that after giving that variable you can skip this part this is not mandatory So after this, let's see. Here, while dollar row is equals to mysql i underscore fetch underscore asoc, then after this we will just write the variables here. Before creating the variable, we need to give the variable name here from where the data will be fetched. That will be our result variable. So we just give it as the parameter inside our function, and then we will just create the variable dollar first, and then dollar row. Then inside the single quotation, we will give the name of our column from our database table. That's how we will create six variable for our six column data that we want to modify inside our edit profile page check if the name are correct or not they have to be exactly same as the database table column name okay we are not getting any error here so it is working properly now we need to give these values inside our query sorry not inside our query we need to put this value inside our form so that we can see that value in the form and modify them for writing that we need to write it like this value then inside second quotation we need to write our php code so we will write it like this php echo and then end of php tag now we will copy this in all this input now after echo before the semicolon we will need to write the variable name that we just created Okay, I need to give all of them first, then we can check the page here, dollar sign last, dollar sign username, dollar sign password, then again dollar sign email, then dollar sign contact. Okay, 
now after all of this is done we can just refresh our page and you can see that all the data are inside this form automatically we don't need to write them again whatever inside the database that the user has saved when they registered that value will be here inside this form and we can just save them or after modifying or just like this if we want to keep these values only so for that we need to click the save button we will just write that condition here after the form this value where did we get these values from that was from our query that we have selected and then the value we have put here inside this input inside our form these variables we are using we just uh, get this value from our query and after we fetched all those value we have uh, actually written that inside that variable called dollar sign first last etc so we are getting that value from here now we will put this value inside an update query so we need to create another variable another set of six variables like that so we can just copy and paste them here inside our condition let's first write the condition then we will just copy those variables if is set dollar underscore post and then inside our button name was submit so here inside it we will write our variable so for that let's copy this again and you can just uh, write them directly inside the query right uh, like we have written previously but i will just use, use this variable name because it is easier to write inside the query if it is too long so here we just need to write the variable name a bit differently as we are uh, posting the data uh, that was inside the form and then we will update in, inside our database so we need to write it dollar underscore post we have written this previously too you can check that uh, other form where we have posted that values inside the database or updated or inserted the value you can see we have used dollar underscore post for every time we use a form so now we will use this variable inside our update query update then table name and then set then we will give the values values for our first name so column was first equal then our variable name the variable name is dollar sign first where we have written those value you can also write here that uh, dollar sign underscore post then third bracket and then first or you can just use this variable like this that way we need to give every other column name too with the variable at last we will add our where condition username equal dollar underscore session and for this we can write it like this inside a single quotation we need to give a double quotation then in between them we need to give dot and then the variable name dollar underscore session login user now after this another dot okay so that's how we just save the values inside our form sorry inside our database from the form now if we go and refresh it again okay before this I need to run this query. If the query is run properly, then we will show a message as saved successfully inside JavaScript code. Here, alert, and then inside the alert, we will write inside double quotation saved successfully. Let's see if this works or not. 
okay an error oh i forget to give the parenthesis here now it is all right now if we modify something you can see inside our database here we have double s here inside the username we will last name we will just modify it and let's see if this works or not okay we are getting blank here let me check the query again the values are not being saved okay i have not given the variable name here like the first name so all the other data were blank so it is saved as blank so the query is working we just need to write the variable name okay now if we save this it will be saved properly okay let me just save the data again inside the database then we will change it from our website the contact number i'm giving all zero i will change it so you can see it properly later okay now let's refresh this page and see all these value you can see the contact number all zero we will change this value as different numbers 0 to 8 and the name now if we refresh or browse our database you can see the numbers have changed and the last name also changed as we have changed it so our this part is um, doing uh, working properly we just need to work for our image so for image we need to write it like this move uploaded file then file name and destination we need to do this because we need to first uh, take a file from somewhere we will select and then we need to copy that file inside our images folder because we need to um, have the file inside our image folder whenever we want to use it so we need to write it like this dollar sign underscore files and then file the name we just created inside our input as you can see inside the form and then a temporary name and after that we need to give the destination here for destination we need to give the folder name images folder where we want to copy this file so images and folder name how do we write it we write the folder name then slash then we need to give the name of our file so we need to write it like this dollar underscore files and then file then name if we write it this in this format the file will be copied inside our images folder then after this if we write this name in any place we want to use it inside our website we can use it but if the file is not inside our images folder we cannot use that file in our website as you have seen previously that we always copy that file inside our images folder then we use it so now you can see all the file are p.jpg now we will change it then change this here here the column name was pick and then it will be equal to dollar sign pick a variable so now we need to create that variable here dollar sign pick and you need to write it like this dollar sign underscore files and then again the file and the name because we need to save the file name inside our database so file and the name of our file this will be saved and this variable was inside our update query so it will be updated so let's see if it is working or not okay there is another error i forgot the semicolon again now you can see we can choose the file and for that we need to have a image here let's choose this from our desktop okay you can see that image but if we go to our admin side and inside images folder there is no picture here so we will just select this from our desktop but you will see that this picture will be copied inside our images folder and also will be saved in our database so now again let's check this that if the 
picture has been copied you see there is still not that photo inside that images folder so now we will press save and we will see okay save successfully and now let's go back to our database and you can see that the name of the image has changed and okay it should change here too okay the image is here also already inside the images folder okay let me just log out first and log in again and see if the change has been made or not okay the, you can see the new image is here that way we can uh, modify our images and after the image is uh, changed we will redirect it to the profile page again so we need to write it inside this script tag window.location Okay, that's all for today.